This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar back here with another episode of Shining Force 2. In the last episode, we saw an epic cutscene setting forth our adventure up ahead. But for now, we play as a young swordsman named Bowie who was just getting up and going to school. However, before he learned any lessons of the day, to his surprise and joy, Astral, the, the mage, I guess, or court wizard, or whatever you want to call him, has been called to the castle. We... Have, uh, we've decided to use this time to go be all uh, childlike or teenagery and to cause trouble. So let's see what this castle has to offer us as these young budding adventurers. Hello, this is this is King Grand Seal's public room. Oh, you must be peoples of Sir Astral. You look too young to work for the king. Uh, why don't you go back to school? Aren't we 16? Technically, wouldn't we be old enough by the age of 13 in a lot of these societies because of like the low age rate? Yeah, whatever. I saw Sir Astral go into the king's bedroom. He was in such a hurry. Do you know why? I don't know. He has a, a bit of the tummy flu, I guess. He's got a bit of his tummy hurt. These towers built in order to watch for invaders. What invaders? Isn't this town pretty peaceful? Actually, why would we be taught to be, if we're so peaceful, why would we be taught, like, like combat? Because clearly I have a swordsman, knight, and priest. That's combat type of... Nah, whatever. How fine the view is. You can see the Eastern Continent from here. Oh, well, that's nice. Too bad we'll never go there. Nope. Uh-uh. This whole game's gonna take place here. Not gonna go on any adventures or anything like that. We're just, uh, you know, miscreant t children just exploring a castle. Maybe meet a princess. We'll tell tales about that for days to come. What's wrong with the king? He's usually down here by now. I thought the king would be the last person to oversleep. Well, you know, he's a king. He can do what he wants, right? He, he leads this country. I mean, for ill or will, so, hey. Oh, I guess we have to be right next time as we talk to him. I'm a messenger for Gallum. I came here to see the king. But he's still sleeping. Did I arrive too early? Uh, maybe. I don't know what a king's sleep schedule is, especially in a peaceful kingdom. But we investigated the bookshelves. A book. Grand, Grand Seal Kings. Oh. Sounds interesting. Investigate the bookshelf. A book. Treasures! What, what would a book called Treasures have exactly? Uh, anyway, what does this thing say? The cook said that the king didn't eat today. I wonder why. Eh, like I said, a bit of bad broth, or was it that Ebenezer Scrooge says in the uh, in, uh, um, uh, Christmas Carol about why he sees Jacob Marley? Eh, whatever. The West Tower leads to the Ancient Tower. The Ancient Tower is only a secret place where only the king can go. Only the king? No one else? Nothing but the king? Seems kind of silly. I mean, the king is rather old. Do you think he'd just send a delegate to go take care of that? So, oh well. All right, get past you folks. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, woo. Oh, come on. All right, anyway. Oh, hey, there's the king. <gasps> and the princess. <laughs> oh, father, please wake up. Sir Astral? Mm, nothing's wrong with his body, but... As much as the fish, as much as the fish guy, uh, uh, strategist or whatever from the previous game was kind of interesting looking because he was a fish dude, Astral, by the way, is like leagues above him just in terms of personality and how much he affects the story. But I don't want to spoil too much. But like I said, a lot of characters have a lot more interaction with the story other than just us going from point A to point B and talking to people. So he must be suffering badly from something. Perhaps it might be. Well. You talk rather slow, don't you, Astral? I guess you must be pondering all day. What are you doing here? Ah! We've been caught! Oops! Ah, uh, uh, sorry, sir! Well, we just followed you. Well, we were bored. We're teenagers. What do you expect? Don't lie to me! You wanted to see the castle, didn't you? Ah, uh, you caught us. Mr. Astral, who are they? Oh, well... They're my pupils. So, they are. They look like good kids. What do you mean we look like good kids? Well, we are drawn to anime, almost Moe style. Pretty close. We must have a special reason to have them here, right? I didn't mean for... Dang it, kids, got off my lawn. Astral glares at Bowie. <coughs> you said the door of the ancient tower is opened? There must be a connection between the door open and the king's sick. Really? Uh, I guess I've seen weirder reasons in ancient culture. You know, if you don't if you don't walk the right way, you'll get knee colds or something. You know. 
I called them here to help me investigate the tower. Oh. Well. Now, pupils, follow me. I, I'd like to see him just making like a stern, like, now follow me. Don't give me any more trouble. That wasn't really that bad. All right, I guess we're falling astral. Let's well, regard the tower. Do I have to go to school again? <laughs> no, you're an adult. You don't have to learn anymore. And no, you should not stop learning as soon as you get out of school. It's a bad habit people get into, although myself included. But we investigated the bookshelves. A book. Making a making a rug! That would be it should be kinda of interesting. I wonder if you can make her own rug. Oh, father, are you alright? Oh, what a pretty princess you are. Uh, uh, uh. Oh well. Eh, you're probably just you're probably just having nightmares or some of that. It was empty! Was that nope. Okay. Didn't know if you could check the uh, suit of armor. Anything in here? But we looked in the barrel. It was empty. Aww. How about this? But we investigate the bookshelf. A book. Castle Romance! Ooh. Maybe a little bit too sa saucy for our youngsters here. But we investigate the bookshelves. A book. Master of Pieces! Oh, we'll say nothing in the. Ooh. A small piece of silk. Bowie is flustered. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, a small piece of silk. Sure it is, game. Yeah, remind you folks that this is a Japanese game. So, I'm not going to go into details, but just put two and two together. Let's assume that this is the bedroom for either the king or the princess, or both. And, yeah. Oh, actually, no, this the king's bedroom is where he's at, so this is the princess's bedroom. So, wait, she reads romances, and what was the other book again? So, she reads castle romances, and masterpieces, so probably an artist. And she has a piece of silk in her closet. Right. Anyway... All right, anyway, let's follow Astro. I think we just have to go, yep, this way. Hello. I don't want to involve you, my children, but this might be a good opportunity for you to learn how to properly serve your king. What do you mean, like for dinner, or to serve him as dinner, or, oh wait, that's, that, never mind. Are you ready, Bowie? Nah, I, I want to go back to my regular life, go talk to mom. I'll wait for you here. You have to hurry, come back when you're ready. Yeah, we, we have to do it. Yeah, did they say anything new? Uh, no. Anything new? Nope. Okay, just cool. Just care. I'm not gonna talk to everyone after certain events happen just to see if they say anything new. I'm just assuming that not, that nothing new is going on. So, hey, everybody, but thou must. Good. Let's go to the tower. Follow me. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no story. So why are you the, why are you playing the game, right? No, it's just the game. If the game wants, you, if you want to, like, check for any other items or anything like that. So. Mr. Osso's already inside the tower. Hurry! All right, let's do it. Let's help our the good sage astral or teacher or whatever you want, uh, and uh, see what we can do. Uh oh, look at this place. Anything up here? Oh, that's a big old. That's a big old tower right there. Oh, we can even get, go behind it. I forgot if you could search back here. Nah, I don't think you could. Whoops. I could swear there used to be something back there. Maybe that's in the Japanese-only version, because there are certain things that you can't find in the Japanese uh, in the American version, and they took out a lot of those like goofy items from the previous game they could find in the in the in the in the game. So there you are, Bowie. Stay here. I'll take a look inside the tower. What a mysterious tower! I wonder who built it. Ancients. I mean, what else would be? I have a strange feeling about this place. I think. Oh, what's this? I think I've seen this so before. Wait, have you never been here before? Aren't you like the, aren't you like the town wizard or something like that? Would you have been like privy to access to this uh, previous? Eh, whatever. I think I've seen this so before. Oh, what'd you do, old man? Causing a light show? Watch out for seizures, man. What's happening? Look, something is appearing. What's that? What do you mean? Whoa! An evil gizmo! A devil that possesses people. Gizmo? Really? Gremlins, anyone? What are you, why are you here? Maybe you got summoned? Where are you going? What? Wait, you're here to possess the king, aren't you? Wait, really? I won't let you pass. You shall not harm the king! You shall not pass! I mean, he's Gandalf, so I had to make that reference in some way. Whoa! Uh oh. That's not good. This doesn't look... Oh, yeah, you and me both, brother. 
We'll stop the evil gizmo here. Bowie, defeat these fiends. Wait, you're not gonna help? What? But yeah, all right, con our first battle of the game. All right, um, I don't think there's any treasure chest or anything like that here. Um, Astral is on the map, but he is not a con uh, he's not a combatant, so don't worry about that. I assume the idea is he's supposed to keep this guy at bay, the uh, the pink gizmo, but he's not considered the pink gizmo and Astral are not considered a, a combatants here, so they're just gonna be there. Um, okay, so let's look at our map. Map. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Nothing. Nothing there. Members can check that. Ch change the speed. I'm probably good. Um, for now, I'll just do display image of combat and improve it to fast as fast as you can. Then you can quit if you want. We're not gonna do that. All right, let's look at our enemies. We got gizbos. In this game, you now have a uh, a kill and defeat count, which I don't. I think defeat is how many times they've. Okay, so kills are how many times you've killed that creature throughout the game, if you ever run into him again. And defeat is how many times they've they've finished off a, uh, a party member of some sort, whether by the main character or whatever. Um, priest average stats, attack defense, agility move, pretty average, HP 5. Uh, we can't do a lot of damage either, but, you know. Uh, we can still get killed, especially if we're playing like the, the super ouch difficulties. Hard, this battle isn't too bad. All right, let's look at our character since we're here. Same thing, uh, kills, how many times he's killed, uh, or how many, okay, I guess for monsters, how many kills they've killed and how many times they've been, uh, maybe it's swapped for them anyway. Kills, uh, it's how many times he's killed and how many times he's been defeated. So there you go. Uh, Knight Chester has got 11 HP. Uh, a little bit better stats than the gizmos, but not by much. He uses a wooden stick, at least for now anyway. Uh, we've got Bowie, or, yeah, Bowie is our swordsman, obviously main character. His stats start off average at first, but over the course of the game, we'll get really good. I don't know if he ever, I don't think he gets the best stats, but he can get really good stats by the end of the game. I mean, he's the main character, he's gotta get at least decent stuff. And he has egress, just like in the previous game. Uh, yeah, not as good defense and agility as, uh, as Chester, but good attack, though. Uh, and we've got Sarah. <laughs> She's actually got the same attack bonus as the main character. Oh wow! Actually, uh, Knight actually has Chester is the weakest uh, attack at all. Huh? But yeah, Sarah can actually punch things if she wants to. I mean, usually you want to use your priest as a healer. I mean, that's the point of them. But you know, uh, but if she needs to smack someone, she can. Yeah, she's gonna have less than regular stats on the other stuff because she's the healer. So anyway, let's uh, pretty straightforward. Just move up for now. Anyway, like I said, if we were playing out your hard mode. I really strongly considered uh, doing hard or hard at least hard mode just to kind of change it up a bit so I wouldn't be like, oh, this game is easy. I I feel like this game is a bit more even on normal mode. I believe this game is more difficult than the than the previous game. I wouldn't say a whole lot more difficult, but it is diff more difficult. Um, usually in this fight, if I can help it, I kind of want to get everyone a kill if I can if I can work that around. Um, I don't remember the gizmos being able to do too much damage, if I remember correctly. I'll leave you there for now. I'm trying to remember what their trigger is. Like, what... Enemies do, uh, move... Okay, so it didn't take much to trigger them. Alright, gizmos. Bam. Okay, so they do do a little bit of damage, but... Alright, let's, uh, work on them. Ow! What the? Ah! It's start, isn't it? Just like in the previous game, by the end of the game, I was missing, like, every other second. Oh, and the action music in this game is awesome, by the way. Um, okay, maybe I shouldn't have moved everyone up. See? Why do you think I didn't choose hard or whatever? I'm already getting, I'm already getting wailed on by these things. But yeah, first attack of the game, and I miss. Okay. Anyway. Um, oh, like in the previous game, um, you can uh, run from battle by egressing. You know, take the experience and then go back, do it again. Um, I may have, I may have spread my hand a little too, too early. You know what I mean? Well, that's fine. We've all got, we've all got healing herbs. So if it really comes down to it, I've at least got a. Uh, wow. Yeah, I think I should have moved up as far as I did. Whoops. Well then, all right. Maybe we don't miss again. 
good gravy, man. Oh, we can actually we actually dodge one. Hooray! We actually did something. Oof. Okay, good. You can actually finish them off. <laughs> All right. Yay. Not not quite not quite out for the count, are we? All right, I'm gonna have to heal Bowie. Yeah, Chester's just weak enough that he can't do it by himself. Uh oh. Might have to use a healing arm on, on Chester, maybe. Wait, when do I get my turn? When does Sarah get her turn? Oh, is Bowie gonna die? Is the first is the first act of the game gonna be like um Hopefully money isn't too difficult to get in this game, but still. Um I guess go ahead and actually go ahead and kneel Chester since uh since he got smacked a bit. Um but yeah, I was I was afraid <laughs> Bowie was gonna get tapped. I was like, no, I don't wanna lose the first fight of the game. Actually, did I lose the first fight of the game of the previous in, in Shiny Force 1, 2 as well? I think I did, actually. That's how pathetic I am. Um, yeah, like I said, I like these games, but I'll admit I am no, like, master player. I mean, there's probably plenty of videos online that show, like, master runs of these games and stuff like that. Um... Th that could just do it really easily or smoothly or whatever, but uh, nah. I just want to have fun and enjoy the enjoy the ride while we're while we're here. Um, I might have Chester finish that one off since it's almost dead anyway, because I'd rather use this. Um, I'd rather use the main character's full potential on damage if I can help it. Nah, I better go ahead and heal Max. Or Max. Man, that's what happens when you play one game too much and you well, I start calling the main character a character of the previous game. I just gotta get used to calling him Bowie, you know, even though. Alright, might have to. Might get Sarah a. Uh, oh, yeah, I. The problem. I think the problem I did was I pulled too many of the goons, like, right off the bat. Man, I got it to heal with the. Uh, with, with, uh, with Ch have Chester use a heal. All right, all right, all right. Got it. Man, we're really using up. Man, I bet hardcore players are like, "What is up with this guy? This guy sucks." Well, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Man, what? My speed just sucks because I. They're, they're. I swear they're getting more turns than I am. Like, like just easily, you know. Boom. All right, give uh, Sarah some damage. Okay, seriously, game. When's it my turn? I swear their their agility is way higher than mine. I'm gonna have to heal with Bowie or either that or get him out of there. Man, using up all my uh, all my uh, uh, metal herbs at the beginning of the game. Luckily, these things are cheap and easy to get. But still. After this point, it's gonna be all all attack, all uh, or otherwise we are gonna you know, suffer well. Well, luckily Chester doesn't get hurt as much as everyone else. So. All right. Yeah, just gang up on one dude. Ooh, four damage. There we go. Getting our getting our turns in a bit quicker. Yeah, I still don't understand the. Oh, wow, nice a crit. Um, yeah, I still don't understand the, like, speed mechanic and how, like, getting our turn before others and all this other stuff, but probably a good rule of thumb would probably be to do this fight again, um, and, and gain a, like, uh, gain a, a level for everyone. Um, I'm not gonna show that on screen, I'll probably just do that, um, ooh, uh, HP1, MP1, attack up. Oh, nice, really good first level. One in it, almost everything, I think. Um, but if I do any level grinding, I'll just mention I do it or do it off screen and come back to you, that type of thing. So, yeah, if I don't get levels for everyone, I, I'll probably just off screen get to the levels for everyone. Well, since she already leveled, I'm not going to have her attack. Chester will probably gain a level, most likely. Oh, huh. Maybe it's because uh, Sarah had healed, so she had a little bit of extra uh, XP. So, but yeah, probably off screen I'll go back and get everyone to level two or something like that. Well done, Bowie. What should I do with this devil? Kill him? 
destroy him? Send him into another dimension? What do you do? Ah, he flashed us! Gross. Oh, it disappeared! Uh, stop him? Let's find him? Oh, there it is! Oh, just shoot some ball of lightning at it or something. Don't you have magic? Although, technically, in the books, Gandalf doesn't use much magic other than, like, light. So, you know, it's a spirit of gift. Uh, dudes, it's getting away? There it is! Dude, you know where he's going. After him! We must hurry to the king! Oh, yeah. Quickly now! Run! I don't think there's anything in here, if I remember correctly. At least I don't think you can... Yeah, hurry, and then we, we can search things. I don't... As far as I know, I don't think there's any hidden items in this place. I'll do a double check, but... I don't recall. Oops. Yeah, nothing here. I'll have to look over my notes again to see if I if I remember there being anything in there, but I'll let you know if I find anything and make a note of it later. Um, yeah, nothing here. Okay, back to the king. I don't think there's anything new popped up. Yeah, man, that first battle did not go over as smoothly as I wanted to. What the? Are you okay, dude? He's fainted. He was, he was hated by ghosts! Or scared by ghosts! So, I guess he just went up and went boogity boogity boogity. How about you? Oh boy, did he hear a strange noise? I don't know why, but everyone's ignoring my questions. What do you mean? As we walk off and not answer her questions. Did anyone else say anything? Oh, they won't let sleep. By the minister's orders, I cannot let you pass, sorry. The minister's ordered me to stand here. What's happening upstairs? Nefarious schemes is what's happening upstairs, my friend. Uh, huh. Where'd the king go? Interesting. Hello. Hurry to the princess's bedroom. Hold the king down! The princess knocked down... Uh, the king knocked down the princess! How dare he knock down such a delicate flower. Ooh, ouch. I didn't think he could be so strong. Ouch, I was knocked down! Oh, poor baby, you're knocked down. Let me pass. I must see my father. Um, uh, are you a warrior, princess? If you are, fine. But if you're not, then probably hold off, hold off on it. Princess Lisa, I can't let you up there. Trust her, Astral. He knows how to cure the king. Yeah, he's a wizard, right? He's a wizard of some power, right? I saw the devil enter the king's body, and the king became violent. Ugh. Well, hopefully we can save him. To the king! Alright, you got this, right, Astral? Uh-uh. Nope. <laughs> king Grand Seal, calm down! It's like a, he's like an overweight man looking for some pie or something. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's possessed. He needs an exorcism right now. Should we call the exorcist Firefly again? Astral, are you okay? Oh, just shake it off. Ow, my head. No, I'm okay, boy. I must use a powerful spell. It may be dangerous. Stay back. What spell are you going to cast? Oh, this is going to be awesome, right? Yeah, come on. Show us this epic magic of the of Astral. Oh, wow. A, that was like a fireball, actually. Evil spirit inside the king. Be gone. Ah. Boom! Nice. King Grand Seal. Whoa, there he is. Did it work? Sorry, my old man voice kind of throws off every once in a while. Ugh. Astral, wh what happened? Are you alright? Let me use your soldiers. We must kill it before it finds another victim. What are you talking about? I, I don't understand. Huh. <laughs> I mean, that's supposed to be faint or tired, but every time you see Psy, you can want to go, huh. Astral. Uh-oh, he got... Looks like that... Well, he did say that spell was really powerful. Astral exhausted. He won't wake up. The ministers summon the soldiers to the hall to kill the evil spirit. I see all the info I can give you about the mission. So all we have to do is kill, find the evil gizmo and kill him. Would you call a spirit a him or eh, whatever? That's right. Kill him before he possesses somebody else. There you go. Yes, sir. Let's go and defeat the evil gizmo. Wow, that is not very. That's like not very like epic of a sounding name. It's kind of goofy when you think of forward bit. Yeah, whatever. What do we do now? I guess we just watch him take care of it. Mr. Astral is still asleep. Is he alright? 
King is upstairs looking in on Sir Ostro. I'm worried. Is he gonna be okay? We we are. He just fainted because he was exhausted by the two battles. Well, he is old, I guess. Don't worry about him. If he dies, it doesn't matter. He's old. Whoa, dude! Is he not your friend or the court wizard or something like that? If he dies, it doesn't matter. He's old anyway. What's wrong with you? Come on, man. Show some humanity or some worry. Ah, oh, God, how heartless. Mister, is the mister there? Not really doing a very good king voice, anyway. Here I am. Did our soldiers leave for subjugation? Uh, yes, just a few minutes ago. What's wrong, King? What happened? Oh, I'm too late. Astro has come back to his senses just now. That's great. Did you talk to him? Astro said he feels an ill omen behind the opening of the tower and Gizmo appearing. We must study the ancient history of Grand's Island. Is this really time for ancient history studies? How? A historian named Howell, or ha Hawell? I think that's Hawell, because Howell would be an O, right? Hawell? Or Howell? I'm going to say Hawell just because that's easier to say. Lives northeast of, northeast of Eel. Astro asked me to send soldiers for him, but... I understand. But what should we do now? You're... Uh, I'm a king! I can't make decisions by myself! What should we do? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Say anymore, more, say anymore. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, no? Mister, I have a good idea. As do I. Think on the same page. We are the pupils of, uh, pu pupils of Astral. I know of you, Bowie. You do? I've heard that you did a very good job in the ancient tower. I did? Why don't you bring to Yeel, uh, go to Yeel, bring Haywell back to here. I don't think this is a difficult job. Will you go? Uh, no, that's okay, King. You refuse the King's wish? Answer again! <laughs> I think they say the same thing if I keep saying no. Yeah. But thou must! Thank you. Depart to fetch Haywell immediately. And we've been forced into kingly service, despite our wishes. Very few people know about the sickness, even in the castle. You know what I mean? Wait, is that what you said? Yeah. I don't know what you mean. Do you know what I am saying? Sir Astro is sleeping in the king's bedroom. He needs some more rest because he's so old. <laughs> because he's so old! Why don't you see him before you leave? He would be pleased. God, people are really just like, oh, he's, he's old, whatever. <laughs> it's like, jeez. People really don't care about old people in this world. The ancient tower is originally called Ground Seal. That's our kingdom seems to have been named after. Uh, Grand Seal, Ground Seal. Uh, why? I don't know why. It was already there when our ancestors settled. Interesting. Whoops. Wrong button. Yeah, stop it. You are the pupils of Sarastro. We are counting on you. Good luck. Uh, thanks. Well, we do have main character, Anitis, or whatever you want to call it. Thank you, Depeche. Anyone? Okay. They repeat themselves. Okay, what about you? The message from Gallop has left. He was in such a hurry. Uh, what's he gonna do? Nah, it's probably, it's probably nothing. Oh, Astral. Oh, we can see your hat. Are you going to see Mr. Hat? Hey, well, I won't let you go wood if I weren't. I trust you, son. Oh, well. Thanks, I guess. Thank you, Bowie. You saved the king's life. I heard that you are going to yield. I'll take care of Sir Astral for you. Please be careful. What do you gotta do? All you've uh, all you've read about is masterpieces and, and castle romance. Eh, maybe you can put water on a guy's head or something. I don't know. Oh, I'm just kidding. I think royalty back in the day were actually taught to do many different things. But that was the reason they were well, depending on the It was a devil. I don't want to stand here anymore. Hey you, can you stand guard for here for me? Nope. I'm an MC, can't do that. But yeah, if I remember, depending on which country you're from, most royals were actually taught to do a lot of things more than your regular folk because they were supposed to be examples of why they were royalty. So they were taught to like, you know, I have not seen Princess Hills today. Is she okay? Yeah, she's taking care of Astral, it seems like. Uh, they were designed, to, or they were basically taught to be better than the regular people because that's why they were royals. So, ooh. but we went to the barrel. It was empty. Nuts. I thought there'd be something awesome in there, but there wasn't. I've never seen such a horrible face. 
I can't tell anyone that. They wouldn't believe me. Tell us what? You're not going to say, are you? She's been shivering like this ever since she came back from the king's room. She won't work. Well, you're useless. You're fired! How about you? Breakfast is over now, and I have to make lunch. Busy, busy. Busy, busy, bee. Anyway. Uh, okay. Let's talk to some more people, see what they have to say. Hello. Eel. It was a small village near the mountains. Travel northwest to get there. Cool. Thanks for the info. Yep, yep. Oh, the Gallum is a country under border, but we are allies. Oh, yeah, they said that earlier. Yeah, boring. Da, da, da. You say the same thing? Gallum messenger just went back to his country. He looks so pale. I guess he hopes to get the Gallum safety. Uh, if you say so. I don't know. How about you guys? Darn, I can't sleep. Sleep. Keep snoring. <laughs> nice. I, don't, I wonder if I snore. I actually don't know. People have said I snore, but then other people said I haven't, so I don't know, maybe it depends on if I'm sick or something like that. Because you never really know unless someone tells you, and you hope they're telling the truth and not pulling your leg, you know what I mean? Oh well. I assume I do, because I do have a deviated septum, which means I have trouble breathing and stuff like that, but... Alright, well it looks like, uh, as young youngsters in the service of Astro, we've been set on a kingly duty to find Howell, or Haywell, to, uh, to, uh, learn about the... Um, the ancient stories of these lands to help uh, perhaps solve a mystery or an upcoming danger that will occur for, to us. Will we be able to find Haywell in time? Will will the knights take care of the gizmo? Something will be answered next time on the next episode of Shining Force 2. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.